Hello guys, um, then welcome to another online lecture. Um, today we are going to discuss mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA. And um, since these are some of the uh, molecular markers that people use in studying um, organisms at the level of species, um, family, subfamily, depending on your area of specialization in molecular biology. Now, um, first of all, mitochondrial DNA and nuclear DNA there are two different DNA um, um, that we normally see in organisms. Um, mitochondrial DNA is one of the cytoplasmic DNAs. Cytoplasmic DNAs. And while nuclear DNA is the genomic DNA. Genomic DNA is found in the nucleus of an organism. So mitochondrial DNA and chloroplast DNA that we are not going to discuss today these are the two cytoplasmic DNA. Um, they are different from the nuclear DNA in many respects. And those are the things that we are actually going to um, concentrate on. Now, first of all, by looking at the size of these two DNAs, um, we understand that mitochondrial DNA is far larger than the nuclear DNA. So the size here for nuclear DNA, it is a small um, sorry, for mitochondrial DNA, it is small and nuclear DNA is larger than mitochondrial DNA in terms of the base pairs. Um, and then the second respect is, when you look at the inheritance. Now, mitochondrial DNA, um, it has been um, said earlier that 95% um, of mitochondrial DNA they are inherited only maternally. That is, if they are transferred from um, the mother to the child, and no part of the father's mitochondrial DNA is transferred to the offspring. Only in one occasion, as of now, we have some species of marine organisms, like the bulvans, that are known for recombination. But for the nuclear DNA, it is from both parents. So that is a big recombination in nuclear DNA. And now we have another differences between these two. That is whether they are, that is the content of introns and exons in these two um, DNAs. Now mitochondrial DNA, if you look at it, um, you, we understand that 95 or 99% according to some um, papers are all exons, meaning they all coded for particular protein. But for nuclear DNA, only few coding regions are seen in the nuclear DNA. Now we look at the shape of these two DNA. Mitochondrial DNA, uh, we understand of course it is a circular form of a DNA and it has different different control regions and nuclear DNA is a linear form of a nuclear or uh, genomic DNA. So basically these are the major differences between mtDNA and mitochondrial DNA. And don't forget, they are all found in our cells, but in different regions, cytoplasm and the nucleus. And thank you so much for watching. You can send your comments and questions under the video. Enjoy the video.